It's lunchtime at Alphabet's Preschool Center in Asbury Park. Crudite with ranch dipping sauce is one of the items on the menu. The four and five year olds dig in family style to carrots, zucchini, celery, fresh fruit, and more. I love orange because it's yummy and juicy. Owner Esther Pekarski was eager to be part of the New Jersey Department of Agriculture's Farm to School program. Farm to School program is an effort to get every available resource of from the farm into the schools, whether it be a farmer, whether it be the product that's produced by the farm, uh, and anywhere in between that. Farm to School is a movement. It is not a mandated program. It is, it is dealt with and managed differently in every single state, but Farm to School programs and initiatives are taking place all over the country. The department offers resources to schools and farmers on everything from taste tests to school gardens. Does everybody know what this is again? Broccoli. When the children find themselves with these fresh fruits and vegetables at an early age, they gain an appreciation for it and incorporate it into their daily lives. As the preschoolers play with fake fruits and vegetables, downstairs in the kitchen, Chef Lisa Baker cooks with real food and creates a nutritious breakfast, lunch, and afternoon snack every day. The Child and Adult Care Food Program, funded by the USDA, is the preschool's main funding source for their nutritional programs. Esther writes a new menu each month. When you think of a preschool or daycare center, I think a lot of times people think about just, I want my child to learn ABCs, 1, 2, 3s. But the truth of it is you're embracing the entire child. You can't do one, you can't have just one part without the other parts, which social, emotional, um, physical. It's just extremely, extremely important. The child's going to have so much more chance of success in life if we don't isolate any of the components that go into what a healthy young child should look like. And food is extremely important. Alphabet's preschool center also created a small school garden about four years ago. Esther's husband tends to it, and he also created a curriculum so teachers can incorporate the fruits and vegetables into their daily lessons. They hope to eventually expand the garden and get more parents involved. You got quite a crunch going on there. Do you like your carrot? Yeah. What's your favorite fruit? Uh, strawberries. Why? Because I like them. You know, we talk about food deserts, and we talk about uh, not having available fresh fruits and vegetables, and that's mostly a part of the fact of not having the demand, because when there's demand, uh, those things will be there. So these kids coming in and saying, where's the broccoli as they go through life? Uh, where's the where are the apples instead of where's the soda pop and where's the uh, you know what else do you have here? Well, it really does. They really do create that demand, uh, and we know that nutritionally, uh, you know, they're really helping themselves. I like it. After their healthy lunch, the kids get to take a nap. Maybe they'll dream about what's on tomorrow's menu. In Asbury Park, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.